And <clears throat> those of us who miss, remember and miss Toshi and Pete Seeger, w wake up every day thinking about them and have experiences that remind us of them and of the loss we feel. And when I saw the list uh, for the Heroes of the Harbor this year, one of the things I immediately thought about was how pleased Pete and Toshi Seeger would have been to see this list. This was, a, this was the sort of thing that made Pete really delighted and made him think that uh, all his efforts to inspire and lead and guide the world, uh, his rainbow race, were maybe paying off. Uh, you know, I, the, I'm glad to see at these gatherings younger and younger people, even younger than I am every year. And <clears throat> so some of you probably uh, are too young to know the word union. And a lot of you probably, it's, it's a select group who, rem who remembers Joe Hill or the great song, The Ballad of Joe Hill, which Pete Seeger could sing like nobody else. Uh, and the, uh, the, the great line, of course, it begins is, last night I dreamed I saw Joe Hill alive as you and me. And when I saw this list, I thought, you know, this, this is, makes me think that uh, Pete Seeger is here alive as you and me. So congratulations to you and to these groups for this recognition. Thank you, those words about Pete. Thank you, Clay. I, I, will, I won't sing. I do know the song, I won't sing it. I'd like to invite up now two, uh, I, I, uh, shh, folks, we have a little respect. Just to, we're just gonna take a few minutes to uh, honor some wonderful people. Shh. I'm gonna, we have an incredible board and you've seen many of them uh, working today. Already saw um, Helena Durst, uh, uh, MC, an amazing uh, uh, moderator, beautiful panel on ferries. Uh, so you know Helena as the, the president of New York Water Taxi. Also, I have Julie Poulin here of Stevens Institute. I'd ask them both to come up here. They're going to be uh, handing out the awards, the five honorees. So please give them your attention for a few minutes. Give them applause. And take it away, Helena and Julie. Um, so the first um, hero we'd like to recognize is the Fund for a Better Waterfront um, for, with their plan for the Hoboken Waterfront. It was formed in 1990 when the voters of Hoboken defeated a, a massive shoreline development scheme. Fund for a Better Waterfront has worked for more than two decades to create a continuous park running the length of Hoboken's riverfront. And as someone who lives in Lower Manhattan takes the ferry to Hoboken at Stevens Institute for work, I have the great good fortune to walk along that waterfront every day and uh, appreciate the beauty of what this group has done. This park is 80% complete. The centerpiece of the FBW plan has been a continuous public waterfront park at the water's edge. In the wake of Superstorm Sandy, FBW has expanded its vision to include resilience and outreach, advising organizations in Weehawken, Jersey City, Edgewater, and Bayonne. Would Ron Hine, the director, please step up? This is Hoboken's Fund for a Better Waterfront. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to stand aside. Who gets you now? I, you, thank you very much. On behalf of MWA, we recognize you as a hero of the harbor. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. Um, I'm Jim Vance. I have a few words to say. Um, this life preserver uh, is a little late. It would have come in much more handy in uh, the southwest part of Hoboken uh, in uh, about a year and a half ago with Sandy, but we'll, we'll accept it anyway. Uh, on behalf of the Fund for Better Waterfront, I, I want to thank the Metropolitan Waterfront Alliance for recognizing the efforts uh, that Fund for Better Waterfront is making in Hoboken's waterfront and an example of urban planning and creative design that can be easily replicated along other urban waterfronts, and some of them are, you can see here in Brooklyn. Uh, we've been at work in 1990, leading a grassroots effort um, in, a in a referendum, forcing the, the city of Hoboken and the Port Authority of New York to scuttle plans uh, that would have effectively privatized the waterfront by building office towers on our piers 
and condominiums as well. Uh, our alternative was based on a remarkable premise, and that is uh, the waterfront belongs to the public. When you build piers on the waterfront, on the piers, I'm sorry, when you build buildings, office buildings, and condominiums on the waterfront and the piers, basically you privatize them. But if you put development on the land side and put a street between the, the development and the parks that you build and the piers that are parks, then you not only have a view of the city and a view of the waterfront, you also have the tenants have a view of, of these parks and can use these parks. And the developers quickly understood that your land is much more valuable, your project is much more valuable if you have these wonderful amenities instead of just owning uh, the piers by themselves. Uh, it became obvious. Uh, the Port Authority uh, bought in. In fact, even provided the funds to build the parks. Uh, it was a just terrific, terrific project. Uh, our goal now has to do with completing. Our goal now has to do with completing the uh, uh, linear waterfront park from one end of town to the other, uh, and we're we're as was said earlier, we're pretty far along on that. Uh, but here we go again. Uh, the city has recently hired Kimley Horn, a transportation engineering firm, to develop a visioning conceptual design plan um, stretching for the area stretching from 4th Street north to 11th. Already there are a growing number of private parties and public officials with keen interest in the project, some of whom don't fully appreciate the design standards and citizens that the citizens of Hoboken have come up with. So once again, we have taken on the challenge as committed public advocates to ensure that sound planning and time-tested creative urban design study uh, are what we, hear, what we uh, use as our guidelines. Continuing appreciation, we continue appreciation and support for our work, such as uh, the Metropolitan Waterfront Alliance. It's critical to our mission. Thank you again uh, for this award. And thank Ron Hein for all his work over all these years. All right, guys, so this ground floor is doing really well on paying attention. Second and third floor, I just ask that you guys use your indoor voices. I personally don't care because I work in real estate, totally fine. But we're respecting a lot of people who don't often have a voice. So I just want to remind the people on the second and the third floor, inside voices if you want to talk around the, bo the bar. So, <laughs> yeah. So I'd like to ask that um, Katie Elliman start coming up to the stage. I want to thank her for very much for her waterfront vision plan along Astoria and Long Island City, Queens. An all-volunteer, not-for-profit coalition of individuals, community groups, and local businesses who join together to improve and promote the waterfront parks and shorelines of Queens, Greenshore, New York City, puts forth a waterfront vision plan in 2011 for the East River shoreline from Newtown Creek to Bowery Bay. With the help of the Trust for Public Land and support from the Catalyst Program of Partnerships for Parks, Greenshore's NYC developed the community's waterfront vision via public brainstorming workshops that resulted in more than a thousand ideas for creating a more accessible, use, useful, and beautiful shoreline. Thank you very much, Katie. and. Green Shores NYC. Thank you. Well, it's an honor to be here and in such good company with the other organizations. Um, I do want to say it's a little strange to be called a hero for wanting to make your neighborhood a better place to live, uh, but we'll take it. And I would say that this award belongs to the residents of Astoria and Long Island City who for a very long time have been um, kept out of the process of claiming their stake on our waterfront. So it's an honor and pleasure to represent them here today. I also want to say thank you to Lewis and Roland and the entire uh, MWA staff, Partnerships for Parks, uh, Commissioner Lewandowski, who always has our back, and we're so glad we get to work with her. And to my, my friends and colleagues on the stage with me, we are so grateful. Thank you. We can't hear that noise downstairs. Yes. Uh, thank you. Next, we'd like to honor the Rockaway Waterfront Alliance's A Greater Walker, Rockaway Waterfront Vision. 
Waterfront Vision is a community-driven plan that has brought together local insight to enhance 11 miles of one of New York City's greatest waterfront resources. This plan has laid the groundwork for phased capital projects and programs along the peninsula that addresses transportation initiatives, economic development, programming, and management strategies for improved waterfront access along the Rockaway Peninsula and Jamaica Bay. And we honor them today. Congratulations. Great. So thank you so much. You know, it's, um, it's nice because we rarely actually get a chance to see everybody that are kind of our partners out there in crime uh, along many of New York City's waterfront. So I appreciate the support um, and welcome everybody to uh, come on out and join us in the Rockaways. I think um, this award really does go out to many of the students and the young people that we work with on a daily basis and um, again trying to really empower them to be the future voice uh, for protecting our waterfront and natural resources. Thank you so much. Our next harbor, harbor hero is from the Harlem River Working Group, the Harlem River Greenway, our river, our future. I'd like to ask Cha Chauncey Young coordinator to come up to the stage. More than 50 stakeholders compromise the Harlem River Working Group, which concentrates on the Bronx interest of this re-emerging waterway. In 2010, partnering with the Trust for Public Land and the Pratt Center for Community Development, the group sponsored public workshops and then in 2012 created and published a bilingual multi-page detailed vision for the reclamation of the Bronx shores of the Harlem River. Congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you. I just want to say what an honor it is for us to be here with all of you. You're all our heroes and we want to thank MWA for uh, all the support that they give us, uh, not just in the conference, but throughout the year. And to make it short, we want to invite you all to the opening of the High Bridge, uh, New York City's oldest bridge, which should hopefully be open by next spring. And we'll have on land and on water activities with our partners from Row New York and the uh, Harlem River Community Rowing, okay? Thank you so much. Our final hero of the harbor is the Ironbound Community Corporation's Newark Waterfront Park Plan. Ironbound Community Corporation's mission is to engage and empower individuals, families, and groups in realizing their aspirations and together work to create a just, vibrant, and sustainable community. The new four-acre park on the Passaic River was realized after nearly 30 years of community advocacy for environmental justice by Newark residents and allies led by the Ironbound Corpor Community Corporation and others. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you to uh, MDA, Roland, and everyone else. Um, and it's an honor to be here with the fellow honorees as well. Uh, this is a tribute to the people of Ironbound, 50,000 strong, a culturally rich, diverse community, multilingual community that never kept a dream of a riverfront park from dying. Um, the riverfront park accomplishes so many things, including, in fact, uh, doubling the amount of open space in our park-deprived community. Uh, it is also a, a tribute to the city of Newark, Newark is a great city. We believed, always believed that every great city should have a great riverfront. Uh, we now have the beginning of one in Newark. And it also just is another a great reason for all of you to come visit Newark. So don't believe what you hear otherwise. Newark is a great city, a great riverfront. Come visit us at any time. Thanks, everyone. Hi. Yes, can I ask all of the harbors of the hero, uh, hero sorry, <laughs> that too, heroes of the harbor to come up to the front so we can get a photo with everybody right here, right where Roland is pointing. Come on, everybody. Come on up, everybody who's got a life saver. <laughs> Should I stay up here? Or? Uh, yeah, we'll stay up here because otherwise it's...
Thank you, everybody, for being a wonderful audience. Thank you very much.